Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today I've got a review for you of a thriller everyone seems to be talking about, Death of a Bookseller by Alice Slater. So this is a book that seems to be getting a big push from the publishers um, at the moment. It's described on Amazon in one of those little subtitles that uh, publishers put after the title of the book um, as the debut suspense thriller of 2023 that you don't want to miss. Um, and it was that kind of marketing that, that sucked me in, as well as the fact that lots of people I know have read this uh, and, and you know really enjoyed it. So a number of people on my Discord have commented on it and recommended it. Um, so when I saw it in a, in a 99p Kindle deal, I thought I would give it a go um, and sadly I didn't really I don't really see what the fuss is all about I thought it was fine but I certainly didn't think um, it was great and it, and it's not a book I would you know unreservedly recommend to people either um, so it's it's set in London and it's about um, two young women who work at the same bookshop um, so Roach who's kind of a, a bit of a goth character um, who's really into true crime and horror movies and things like that has worked there for a while and, and he's kind of stuck in a bit of a rut um, Laura comes to, to work at the shop. Laura's much more of a kind of bubbly character. Um, she's a poet. She's really into kind of literary fiction and things like that. And has got, you know, ideas about how the bookshop should be run. Um, and Laura um, and Roach kind of clash a bit. So, so Roach becomes obsessed uh, a bit with Laura um, whereas Laura you know doesn't want anything to do with Roach and, and doesn't like the way you know Roach works um, and as Laura's uh, sorry as Roach's kind of obsession with Laura grows she starts to kind of stalk her um, and that's where the, the kind of suspensey elements of, of the plot come in. And as with every book like this nowadays, it flip-flops between the two characters. So you get a Roach chapter and then you get a Laura chapter. And through that approach, you learn you know, more about the two girls' past and in particular one aspect of Laura's past that, that Roach is fascinated by. Um, so it's very much a character-based book. Um, there is you know, a, a kind of suspense plot running through it, um, but it's not by any means a strong one or, or one that's particularly grabbing. And I think this kind of suspense thriller can work in a, um, you know, in a, in a character driven kind of a book. Um, I've been reading a lot of uh, Patricia Highsmith recently and Patricia Highsmith excelled at this kind of thing. So she wrote, you know, suspense thrillers that were very much about the characters. They did have strong and interesting plots as well, but they were, you know, first and foremost about the characters. So I think if you're a really, really good writer and you write really fascinating, interesting, messed up characters, it, it can work. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think Alice Slater is that good a writer yet. She may be, you know, she may become a better writer over time. This is her first book. Um, but it felt to me like she wasn't quite there yet in terms of her depiction of the characters. I wasn't as interested in them as I would have needed to be for this book to really sell itself to me. Um, unless it had had a really strong plot. If it had a really strong plot, then I think the characters would have been fine. But the plot is, you know, kind of a bit nothing -y. It's just Roach gets obsessed with Laura um, and, and that's kind of it. Um, so yeah, there was, there was a lack of a strong plot and the characters, whilst they were good, weren't good enough to really pull me through the book. The, the other slight issue I had with it was something that, again, can work if it's done in a certain way in books, but, but can also be a little bit distracting. And that's kind of constant references to things. So there are loads of references to like other writers and books and things like that in this book, which kind of works because it's set in a bookshop. So it feels natural to an extent, but it also felt a bit too much to me. There was too much of it. Um, you get it, you know, in every chapter you get some other reference um, and it just felt to me a little bit overwhelming and it, and it was something that ended up distracting me from the story. But to be fair to Alice Slater, she does include some really interesting detail about the kind of behind the scenes world of book selling. So, you know, little bits of information that I had no idea about, despite the many hours I've spent uh, in bookshops during my life. Um, so that was interesting. And there's also some quite interesting um, kind of discussion of the way true crime has become such a popular form of entertainment in, in the modern world. Um, and, you know, the kind of dark side of true crime, you know, the fact that terrible things have to have happened 
around um, in order for people to get that entertainment um, in the first place. So that side of the book was quite interesting. Um, unfortunately, um, the ending really let the book down for me. So, um, you know, I had been reasonably happy reading it. Um, you know, I was I was engaged enough by the plot to keep turning the pages. There was just enough meat in the in the characters to keep me interested. Um, but the ending for me fell really, really flat. And I think the problem with it is that the book is being sold as as a thriller, and there are definitely thriller elements to the plot. But the the resolution to all of it is completely non non thrilling. Um, it's really a bit of a damp squib of an ending, and the book ends up as a result feeling very much like a character study, um, you know, a study of two young women and the interaction between them, rather than you know a, a more traditional kind of thriller story. Um, so for me, unfortunately, um, I ended up liking the book um, less once I'd finished it than I had been as I was reading it. So I hope you found that interesting. If you've read Death of a Bookseller, do let me know what you thought, because clearly lots of people um, have enjoyed it a lot more than I did. Um, so maybe I'm missing something. Um, so yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments. Uh, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well out there. Hope you're reading good stuff. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.